Welcome everyone to the next show of CFO Inside TV from the CFO Summit Emerging Europe and CIS um, 2012 here in Vienna. I'm very happy once again that you've decided to join us and I'm also very happy to have Alexei Kornia, CFO of Russian telecoms operator Mobile Telesystems, NTS, um, here with us today. Hello, Alexei. My pleasure. Hello. How are you? Yeah, we are doing fine. Um, we already discussed, we basically want to talk about two or three things. Um, one of your main themes at the moment is that globally risk is wrongly assessed um, co between developed markets and emerging markets. Could you elaborate on your main point there? Yes, uh, thank you for the question. Uh, I think the result of uh, financial crisis 2008-2009 was to a large extent related to a wrong risk uh, assessment or placement of risks and we are still not fully out of there. So uh, emerging markets, even though they are the most growing, less leveraged and better shaped for the investments, uh, I mean not in terms of infrastructure necessarily, but their prospects still uh, given the big discounts. And that's, that's what we can see as an example on Russia. And mostly those discounts are based on political assessments of risk. So-called so soft, soft issues, which you can never uh, really evaluate. And although by hard data, when you are looking at the leverage and government debt and consumer debt, they're extremely low. Some soft factors are driving this risk assessment law. I mean, it, it's not necessarily that you should ignore them, but you should not overestimate them. Is MTS suffering from that in terms of funding and, and other problems you're having? I think in c to a certain extent, yes. Uh, we still have relatively low multiples when you compare us even to our peers in, the, uh, in Europe and even in those parts of U Europe which are suffering most from the crisis. Uh, we are having lower ratings than some other operators uh, which are working either in other emerging markets or uh, in, in Europe as well. So we feel that uh, there is still a good room for improvement. And um, you already reacted to a certain degree as well. You changed your funding structure significantly um, in the last couple of years from almost entirely US dollar-based funding in 2008 and 9 to almost entirely ruble-based funding. Why did you change that funding structure so radically? Well, I think that's uh, the case for us and the case for uh, overall Russian economy. So we need to more and more rely on internal sources of funding. Of course, it will take time. But as we see that the Russian markets develops in terms of finding capabilities, the same did we are. So we did a natural hedge and fully relied on ruble financing, or not fully, but 80%, and only 20% uh, to US dollar financing. But that ruble financing is significantly more expensive, but you say that is compensated by the, by the fact of the natural hedging. Yes, that's the question uh, how you look at your risks and how you become a less risky company. So being exposed to forex risks is uh, you know, making you a more risky asset. Like having a natural hedge with your balance sheet on your balance sheet makes you a better fit. The, your, your role model and I'm sure the Russian government would be very happy to have more companies like that uh, to, um, 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 to show because the Russian government is very actively trying to make Russia and especially Moscow uh, financial center and to develop the local capital market. How successful do you consider these attempts to make Russia really a, clo a domestic and local capital market? Well, I think it's a long road, and that is why it's uh, it's not something what we'll see in you know next year or in the coming couple of years. It's a long road, but uh, so far so good. I think the central bank policy is very right, having floating ex exchange rate, having uh, liquidity in the market, adding liquidity in the market helps to develop market very much. So central bank doing is a very right thing, and I think uh, we see it through development of local funding market. And in terms of um, now looking outside Russia, the global economy, what are your biggest concerns? Where do you think in developed markets and emerging markets, where are the biggest risks? Well, I think the biggest risk uh, is inflationary, uh, taking, taking how big a uh, balance sheet of central banks are becoming. Right now, the balance sheet of uh, central banks of uh, developed countries are already about 20% of GDP, 
which is qu and th that was increased from I think two trillion to six trillion dollars over the last uh, few years. So it will probably result in the high inflation. Mm -hmm. And I think as for us as telecoms, we are not resource-based company which can easily adjust their prices to for inflation. And also for global markets, it's uh, the biggest threat in the mid-term prospect, like three years and afterwards. One final question, you just mentioned resources. How critical do you see the resource dependence or resource focus of the Russian economy? And you are not a resource company. How do you feel working in this particular environment? Well, I, I think uh, Russian economy is uh, vulnerable because it is very much dependent on resources, which is true. Uh, but uh, as I was um, earlier saying, it is not less dependent on resources than Western economies, fr economies from their capability of printing money. <laughs> uh, uh, still, I feel that there is a very good potential, whether it will be realized or not, to develop in consumer markets and to develop growth based on consumption in Russia, in China, in emerging markets. Because that level, consumer debt level, extremely low. In Russia, it's 8%, while in developed countries, it's around 100% of GDP. So developing internal consumption is something which can help, and we are clearly, as a company, focused on bene from benefiting on this high consumption. Thank you very much for that. Um, and now coming to our final um, point, we always have three short questions at the very end, which I would like to ask you to answer very briefly, ideally, yes, no, um, black, white. My first question would be, do you think growth in emerging markets, um, which is at the time um, slowing down globally, um, will be saving the world economy in 2013 again? Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, you're very bullish about Russia, so um, let's hope. Let's hope Not you're right. Not Russia, emerging markets <laughs> in general. general. Um, let's hope you're right. Do you think second um, Western governments will be able to? to mop up um, all this money that is currently, um, all the liquidity that is in the markets? Um, and um, or are you afraid that um, inflation will truly get out of control? Well, I think that's the only politically acceptable, sorry for long answer, <laughs> it's the only politically acceptable way to uh, deleverage is to inflate the debt. So yes, it will be inflate, there will be inflation. Okay. Four, five percent. Four to five percent, okay. And um, final question, will we soon see MTS um, having a um, subsidiary in Western Europe somewhere? Well, let's see. <laughs> let's <laughs> wait and see. <laughs> All right. So thank you very much, Alexei. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining us again for CFO Inside TV. I hope you had an interesting um, talk and some insights um, into the Russian economy. Um, and we'll I'm looking forward to seeing you again for our next edition in a week's time from now. Thank you very much and goodbye.